a world full of discrimination, highlighting another one should not cause great distress. With an older population growing younger and the world being dominated by a younger demography, the world as we know it has greatly morphed. Ageism has been defined simply as discrimination against individuals or a group of people based on their age. It was specifically coined to describe discrimination against older people and the aging process. However, currently, ageism in some contexts is used to refer to discrimination against young people too. They've crept into that one too. <laughs> With the advent of the internet and the explosion of technology and its aids, there are tons of young people, often below voting age, that have acquired riches and are often the employers of older labor, their parents inclusive, or older people working in spaces where they can be considered endangered. With this comes a desensitization of social graces, most especially the boundaries of respect, respect for older ones. It is easy to blame westernization for the loss of our core values on this side of the Atlantic, but can't this truly be avoided? Ageism is not only seen in the most obvious place, which is the workplace, but even in speech telling a woman she's too old to wear certain styles of outfits, particularly ones that are considered sexy, praising older people by comparing them to younger ones. You look young for your age. Ah, you're young at heart. Are you really that old? Or labeling products, anti-aging products, services, wonder treatments, surgeries, and so on. Dara Torres made headlines when, at 41 years old, she won a spot on the U.S. Olympic swim team for the 2008 Beijing Games and became a five-time Olympian. Most of us would consider a woman of 41 to be old. By having beaten a 25-year-old to land a spot on the team, Torres challenged stereotypes about aging and showed that people of all ages are capable of making great strides. Like Taurus, many people are striving for success in midlife and beyond, but they find themselves regularly struggling with varying degrees of age. And so how do we coexist? I'll just give a few tips here and there of, you know, especially if you're going older, you find yourself, you know, in this space. I mean, don't give up. Speak up. Speak up. Don't, don't let your voice be drowned out. Don't be pushed around because you're older. You have gray hair for a reason. And after all, age gives liberty to speech. Engage in the world. Stay active mentally and physically. Follow the news. Live in the present. Look to the future. Show your children and grandchildren that you are aware of what is going on. Be positive. Attitude has a lot to do with how people overcome ageism. Relish the experience and wisdom that comes with age and put them to good use. Most importantly for me, be as independent as you can be and go for what you want. And I'm referring specifically to tourists. I mean, age shouldn't be put, you know, shouldn't put you down if there are things that you're trying to discover. Right now, I'm on another new journey at this age and I'm going to love it. Finally, exercise. Exercise not just your mind, but your body. Bottom line is, we will all get there. Be kind to yourself and others. Um, I like this topic. I just I want to kick it off. I like this topic because I am an older woman and um, I still have a lot in me. And I just felt that I, I felt that a lot of people still struggle, especially as females. It's almost as if because you're a woman, you know, and you reach, for example, the first sign that is over for us is menopause. Uh -huh. <laughs> Once a woman is hitting menopause, she's there's nothing again for her. I mean, I don't understand how nature decided to even deal with us in that regard. So you can't even blame the world for treating us like that. But it's not true. It's just okay, fine. It's a bridge to the other side. And I really wanted to bring this out that um, you you can live a full life, you know, to the end. Um, it might be different, but that's what youth to was. Um, how do we help even our youth to understand that you still need to, you know, look up to me because I will pass on the baton to you. And honestly, that was why I spoke about ageism. And I hope somebody 
is um you know somebody finds some hope and solace in this and you know just go out there and live till they call you home Madam Comfort Boots, I think uh, first and foremost, you, I see you as a young woman. You know, I don't, I, I don't see any, <laughs> I don't see any. But let me come from a general perspective. Yeah, it's true. Women are in this part of the world. We have a mindset problem, individual, and also we have a societal orientation. You know, it's always hard on the women. Yeah, old woman like you, see what they do. I'm using local parlance. But if it is the men, they don't really even talk about it, especially when the men are wealthy. They don't care. Like today, I was in a vehicle coming and they were arguing that oh, uh, this, a man of, at 90 can get married in as much as he's wealthy. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. But a woman at 90, why would she get married? You know, those, those gender sensitive talk. Where I want to come for a, a, from a general view. Um, I just want to come from a general perspective. I want to use this opportunity to address the Nigerian police. When you see a young guy driving a vehicle, a young man, a young man like me, driving a vehicle, right. very powerful vehicle, or like you too, <laughs> driving the vehicle, and they stop you. The next thing, they'll start asking you questions. Who are you? Identify yourself. Bring your phone. How do you, how come a young boy like you is having this vehicle? And some of them will go as far as telling that me, we work for police for 30 years. I don't fear for them. So they just brand you. You must be a first year, a young boy. So that's still some, some of ageism. Are you saying that uh, there, there must be a certain age you must get to before you, you, you are able to eat the fruit of your labor? You must you work and toil your age? Then let me come from another perspective. For this election coming, personally, yeah, even though there have been much talk about from America, Americans are saying we don't want Trump, we don't want Biden on a general scale. The, uh, Biden is old. We need a younger candidate. And in Nigeria here, they are shout, come on, oh, we don't want older persons. These people have been here for a long time. We want young people. Personally, I, I think it's a form of ageism. I, I don't think we should judge people by their age. What we should be concerned more is, does this person have what it takes to deliver? Is he mentally and physically fit? Some young people are not mentally and physically stable to run office. So I don't believe in ageism. Everybody should be respected. And let me come from this other angle again. Before you become, before you tend to be relevant in your old age, make sure you use your youthful age productively. Let me give you an example. Look at General Lushego Obasanjo. They had this problem for two years in Ethiopia. He was still um, given the responsibility of overseeing the peace talk between the Tigray region and, and the uh, European uh, government. Uh, sorry, the Ethiopian, uh, Ethiopian government, yeah. So, Ethiopian government and the Tigray region to end the civil war effectively. Obasanjo is how old? He's very old. He's not a young person. He's over 80 years, right? Over 80, maybe almost 90, you get. Now, aside Olushego Obasanjo, we have other notable people. We just had, okay, Professor George Obiazo just passed on. When he was alive, this man, as, definite, as old as he was, he was still, you still see him saying things about addressing Nigerian problem from unity to government, good policy, good governance. Let me go on. If you, if you go to the um, religious sector, we have older clergymen. People like, let me use an example. You have someone like Bishop um, Pastor Adibuye. You have someone like uh, Pastor Kumuyi. When these people speak, they speak with wisdom. So it means that when they were young, they used their Useful. youthfulness to develop themselves. So if you want to dream of being relevant in your old age, Please use your youthful age wisely and be careful of what you eat. Take care of your health, build your mind, so when you grow old, you'll still be relevant. And please, let's take care of the old people among us and also respect the youth. That's my thought. Raymond, though, let the person from Elijah. Yeah, so, so my view on this, I, my view on this is this. So, because we now live in a very plastic society where people care so much about appearance, outlook, and all of that. There's a, ten, there's a sense in which people don't want to get old. And I think the psychological uh, um, uh, definition of that is uh, gerascophobia. That is the fear of getting old. So this, there's a whole lot of research that has gone into this concept because people want to be around for almost all the time. But unfortunately, life is in phases, and the creator has designed it that uh, when we are born, we, as we grow older, uh, we, we, we continue to decline. Just like any product that is produced will ultimately reach its expiry date. That is how man is also uh, configured in, 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 in creation. So we should see it as a welcome destination. So people should not treat 
getting old as though it's a death sentence or we should not be stigmatized for, for, for progressing through, for their biological progression through time. So you understand. So, and I, I think in the context of this election we're having and the candidates on the ballot, I think uh, the so-called, the candidates who have been sort of stigmatized or criticized for daring to run on account of their age, maybe when they read these scripts, they will maybe they will be happy. They will <laughs> they should not get too excited. Yes. That, that, that is somebody out there who, who is speaking this way. So I agree, <laughs> ageism is not a is not a social disorder. As far as I'm concerned, people should be people should be happy that they are able to live to see their grey hair because not everybody uh, will, will, will have that privilege or that opportunity. Yeah. So uh, and uh, and it's good good enough thing that some NGOs are beginning to come up with a focus of. Uh, catering to people who are in that bracket, catering to their peculiar and their special needs, so that to make sure that they enjoy the, their, their, their autumnal years, as it were. Okay, uh, thank you, Raymond, and thank you, uh, Comfort, for bringing this. So, just like um, Elijah said, I think what we should be concerned more about is what do you have to offer? You know, legacy you leave behind because definitely nature will call, and we have to yeah. live to prepare for that. I give you an example. I don't want to lose politics because I have some, some sentiment around that. I give you an example of football. Cristiano Ronaldo is right now is 38 years, but he feels even at the best that he cannot move the way he moves when he was young. But he feels there is still something he wants to give the world of football. And it keeps pushing, yeah. right? So if you also look at it from that perspective, like you are comparing politics of United States with Nigeria, what do these people have to offer? Is this something that will move us from where we are going, uh, from where we are to where we are, we are expected to be and where we are going, right? We should look into more of what do we have to offer? And then at the end of the day, how do we even manage this set of people, not just to look down on them, you know? Even like you talk about the dressing, they should also be mindful. For anybody who knows, who have been able to identify their potential, I believe there are certain things they will put into consideration why they are living, you know, and accept the nature as it comes. All right, thank, thank you very much. Okay, so as a rounding of fantastic views, I, I agree. I, I think I, I think I really like that one. That irrespective of the fact that you know you don't want to be um, discriminated based on your age, the truth is that even nature and life, you know, kind of does it for you. However, I think the lesson for me here is that we should just be kinder. We should be kinder. We will exactly. all get there. So exactly. We all get there. Exactly. Right That's it. That's the message. Yeah. So. Thank you very um, much. After the break, um, Olari Waju will uh, give us his own topic. <laughs>